Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Travis Scott with another hookup, Offset trying his hand at singing, Young Buck string of bad luck, and Jay-Z dealing the whatchamacallit. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the sub button because it makes us look like we know what we doing. Yo, if you hate the delivery and the style, hit the like button to say, yo, I like to make moves at some point, and hit it if you feel the opposite. Hey yo, the bell icon is waiting for you to touch him, so go on and tap it, all right? And let it know that you care. Now, first on deck, with a pen in hand to sign another contract is Travis Scott. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, man. The pandemic gave you all this time off to think of a game changer, right? A major move. And Travis Scott has proven that you ain't did a damn thing with all the time that you had. In fact, you kind of got worse. Tell me I'm lying. Look, your boy Travis Scott upped his value something serious when he linked up with Fortnite pulling a concert back in, I don't know, April, May, whatever it was. Pulled Mickey D's out of a run and even showed us he had access to a PS5. And that really made your boy Celeb flip a table. Yo, your boy got a position now with PlayStation. Yeah, you heard me, son. A position as a new creative strategist for PlayStation. Sony recently released a commercial using Travis Scott for the PS5. Yo, take a look. Yeah, yeah, it's cool and all, but uh, honestly, y'all be more impressed if Travis Scott can make PlayStation provide GameStop with more than seven measly pre-orders, man. I mean, I thought they were in the business of selling video games. Seven pre-orders, bruh. Yo, don't get me started, right? I even try to spark beef between GameStop and PlayStation telling them, hey, yo, man, you gonna let PlayStation punt you like that with seven pre-orders, son? You gonna take that? Whatever. Lil Boosie, right, found himself in the ring on an episode of Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. When Mike took a sidestep and sneaked him with the question putting Boosie on the ropes for a second, Mike came out the cut with the question like, yo, how do you feel about other people's feelings? You're like, where the hell's this going? Mike continued on and said, you know, Boosie, you offend a lot of people talking about homosexuality and gays. And But but then at that point, I couldn't hear the, the rest of the question because the sound of Boosie's heartbeat was just way too loud. Now, Boosie responded by saying, yo, a lot of times I know I need to shut the F up. Mike responded by saying, why don't you? Boosie said, I don't know. It'd be hard, man. Hey, hey yo, honestly, though, I really think that that was a good answer like most of us suffer from that right you even see it in the comment section sometimes hey yo take a look at a little bit of the dialogue between the two how do you feel about other people's feelings you know you offend a lot of people you talk about fucking um gay motherfuckers homos and faggots. no uh, no a lot of times i need to shut the fuck up it's just it's just why don't you i don't know man like you know it'd be it'd be hard my mama got on my ass yesterday Tell me I need to shut the fuck up. But when it be on my heart. Why do you say just, things about um person that, you, uh, that might be a homosexual? Why do you say that about them? Do you feel there's a possibility that you're a homosexual and you by disrespect them, you further yourself from being a homosexual? Or thinking you may like homosexuals? I'm not I saying did, you are, but why I, I do really, you have really, if you're straight, why do you I really I really I really I really commented on, on, on the Dwayne Wade situation. Yeah. Because I got offended because because it's a child. But check this out. Who the fuck am I to say anything? We can't, you know, my, what I think don't mean a mother. Yo, Tyson said, yo, Tyson said, if you're straight, then why do you offend people? <laughs> Boosie go, I really commented on Dwayne Wade's situation because I got offended because that's a child. That's really why I got offended. It's a child, close quote. Before Tyson said that he agreed. But then Tyson add, added, yo, who the F am I to say anything, though? Close quote. Now, respect to Boosie who stood his ground and did not change his position. I mean, it looked like it was pretty serious in there, though. You know, you see what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like what he was saying is 
Children are too young to make certain decisions and to have adults impress certain ideologies on them and to affirm things that are biologically inconsistent is damn near child abuse. Yo, look, for centuries, right? Doctors have been able to biologically distinguish between a male and a female species. And now, because you want to bust a nut with the same sex, you're like, oh, yeah, all of us have to now change what we always knew to be biologically true. F out of here with that. And yo, don't waste your time trying to challenge me in the comment section on that either. You see what I'm saying? I know simple biology, man. Okay? And I'm not disrespecting the knowledge of billions of biologists throughout the ages. Okay? Yo, let me let me keep it moving, right? Before I get all excited. And your offset has now turned his hand. <laughs> you you're like, oh, he a little bit opinionated today. Yeah, man, whatever. Offset has decided to try his hand at singing R and B. You like word? <laughs> well, sort of. I mean, he might as well, right? Because your boy was on the gram serenading his wife, Cardi B, whom he recently reunited with early in the morning. Like like five o'clock or something crazy like that. Some ungodly hour. And when you begin when he began to pull the cover down from off his lovely wife, this happened. Yo, take a look. Dad, my friend is hour! Hey yo, hey yo, 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 why is that not a song, right? Like, your business as a musical artist is to produce hits discussing not just the profane, but also the mundane. In fact, I would prefer you refrain from the profane. I mean, that's a beautiful thing what he did, right? Singing with it. It's beautiful to even see the two of them, you know, happy again together in the whole nine. Y'all offset singing happily with his lovely wife. I mean, what could go wrong at this point? I'll tell you exactly what could go wrong. The cops, that's what could go wrong. And yo, apparently, a brother singing to his wife and laughing is a little bit too peaceful and joyous. So the cops have to come through and break this ish up because you know how they get down. Offset was driving through Beverly Hills, and I don't know why anybody drives through Beverly Hills at this point, right? He was driving through Beverly Hills, and my understanding is he found himself in the midst of a Trump rally. Yeah, I'm sure it was all peace and love, right? Civilized individuals rallying for who they want to lead our country. What could possibly go wrong? Well, apparently, right, they start banging on his car with their flags, which is pretty poetic to say the least. And they begin accusing him of waving weapons in his car. Now, or at them, whatever. I don't know what the situation was. The coppers, of course, show up on the scene, they come by and tell your boy Offset, keep your hands where they can see it and turn off the ignition. All the while pointing firearms at your boy Offset. Now, Offset put two hands on the wheel and with his third hand, he reached for the ignition and turned it off. You see how stupid that sounds? This is how ridiculous this joint is at this point. Offset is like, I'm not reaching for the ignition, I'm keeping my hands right here. I'm not reaching while you guys are pointing your guns out at me, officer. And the officer says, it's my right to have my firearm out. These guys are incredible, yo. Yo, take a look at this vid. Oh, God, I'm, you, I'm giving you a lawful order. Turn off the engine. Hey, I'm not. I, I, I can't. I'm my hand. Sir, driver, I'm giving you a lawful order. Take your right hand and turn off the engine. I'm not doing no orders. You got guns out pointing at me, bro. Turn Turn, turn off the engine, that's all I'm asking. Choice. I'm not gonna move my hand from yeah, my steering wheel. You, you said somebody was told that I'm a fucking celebrity, you know who I am? I'm offset from the Migos. What are they they they're lying. You're you gonna get sued right publicly. Turn off the car. Don't move, man. Open this door. No, that's not legal. That's not legal. You can't just open my door. Yeah, I can. No, You're you gonna can't get out of this car right now. You can't just open my door to y'all. Y'all know who I am? What is you grabbing my fucking wrist for, bro? So aggressive, bro. Hard park. What is this? I know you fucking know me so bad. I said, tell me that. The lead is off. I'm finna get back over there. He probably give me some money. I'm gonna say, free my man. Yo, these cats, man, they're so disgusting, it's not even funny. How do they even have family members at this point, man? None of their family members is checking them? Hey, yo, notice the black officer in the back telling the people with the camera phones just to keep it moving. You see what I'm saying? Yo, the blue line of silence should be a crime in and of itself, especially when ish goes sideways. And, I, and I, look, I was just watching the Queen and Slim when this story came out, too. You know what I'm saying? So it really ticked me off and, and put me in the wrong state of mind. Yo, if you know of a doctor or a nurse that's poisoning their patients, would you say something? 
How about if you heard of a teacher that was banging kids? Would you say something then? You're like, oh my gosh, this is offensive. Yeah, whatever, you in the wrong site, that's why. What about a cop that treated people with darker skin as criminals without the proper due process? You know what I'm saying? That flag with the blue line. Look, if there's a ring of teachers out there wilding out on some kids, being inappropriate on some fourth graders and second graders and stuff like that, right? If people came out and was like, yo, I stand in support of these teachers, wouldn't that strike you as odd? Because the issue wouldn't be all teachers, right? It's like, why are you voicing your support when we talking about the crooked ones? It's because you saying without saying that you really down with that. You see what I mean? Yo, check out the Queen of Slim if you got a second. Crooked cops, teachers, and nurses should be barbecued. And their supporters, man, they should be canceled, man. I don't even know why you would even continue to talk to, to their supporters. What, to try to speak some sense into them? Maybe that's the only reason why you would possibly do something like that. Now, this story just keeps going on, right? But let me give it to you anyway. Now, we told you a couple of days ago that your boy, Young Buck, flipped the table like he was in a New Testament and grabbed his lady something serious, prompted her to let off a couple of claps before spending some time in the big house. And I'm, I'm not talking about her real house. I'm talking about the slammer. Now, over, over some social media passwords or something like that, why does kid keep looking at me for? No, it looks like your boy wasn't home alone for long because Young Buck still got roped up and landed behind some bars on a couple of charges. According to reports, Tennessee native and uh, straight out of Cashville rapper Young Buck has been arrested in Sumner County days after investigators say his girlfriend was charged firing a, a weapon at him. Now, the uh, sheriff's office said that David Darnell Brown, right, Young Buck, is jailed in the county on several charges, including domestic assault, vandalism over 10,000 bucks, and unlawful possession of a firearm. He was arrested Thursday and booked into the Sumner County Jail on a $60,000 bond. Now, we also mentioned to you, right, that 50 was like, he made a statement along the lines of, you better stop playing with them boys on IG, Buck. She want your password lol now buck didn't seem to take that one on the chin too nicely and came back for 50 state and quote yo somebody tell this <laughs> this punk behind ninja 50 cent finish that bowl of fruit steroids and wrap your monthly police report up uh, ci hashtag confidential informant face behind curtis it's me buck it's me yo curtis it's me buck don't ever forget i know you and i ain't got started yet close quote hmm Hey yo, your boy's talking like he got a shoebox of receipts, which would be crazy because all the heat that 6ix9ine took on that informant type stuff. If Buck laid some info like that on the table, about 50, it would be a bit of a game changer, wouldn't it? And then folks would have to keep that same energy that they have for 6ix9ine on 50. Or is there no law that says you have to do that all of a sudden? I don't know, but look, and finally, Jay-Z has been in the business, right, of dispensing product to uh, people for quite some time. Before, of course, becoming a musical artist and hitting people with some musical product. But your boy has turned back to his old ways. But don't go running to the corner just yet, okay? This is all legal now, right? Your boy's launching a monogram, which is a company that seeks to, quote, seeks to redefine what cannabis means to consumer today. And this is the result of Jay's partnership with the California entity, Kaliva, who linked up with Jay, adding him as their chief brand strategist in 2019. Now, products are not available yet, right? So don't get that excited. But they have stated, quote, Monogram marks a new chapter in cannabis defined by dignity, care, and consistency. It's a collective effort to bring you the best and humble pursuit to discover what that best truly is means close quote this is all on the website and they, and they also added the caption or the bottom right uh, as a website progress is endless close quote yo let us know what you think if you if you report cops right like if you report the cops to i don't know whoever that you know they got an answer to are you a snitch uh, but if you didn't rat on the cops ain't that like being in league with them because you're furthering their agenda by allowing them to continue their systematic breakdown of your neighborhood yeah i mean there's a lot of inconsistency out here man i don't really know but yo folks ain't trying to hear all that yeah let us know what you think be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source for celeb news